in five, four, three, two, and one. We should definitely be live. Y'all, I don't know what's going on, but the technical difficulties this morning is, I would say real, but it didn't seem like I was having it first. So this morning we're doing something a little bit different because I woke up and I had just, you know, a feeling, a mood. I wanted some pizza and specifically I wanted some breakfast pizza. So um, what I did was I looked at my fridge, I saw what I had and I have some leftover dough. This is just leftover from like a canned croissants that I in initially made for game day weekend last weekend, which was some, um, oh, well, it wasn't just last weekend. I initially purchased them for game day weekend because I made some pigs in a blanket, but I had another can left over and I used this week for some breakfast um, pigs in a blanket. And so I had this little bit of dough left over. So this is only about half a can, but I'm gonna use it this morning to make myself a breakfast pizza. So this is gonna be a real simple, small recipe. Um, I don't have this recipe below cause it's really impromptu. But it looks like I'm prepared because I tried to do this video like four times live this morning alone and it didn't work out. Okay. So in front of me, we have some ingredients, darling, and we have some shredded cheese. Now this cheese is, you typically we use what mozzarella for pizza, but this is a mixture of um, uh, cheddar cheese and then also some mozzarella together. So Whatever you want, whatever you got in your fridge, you could use that. And then I also have red peppers here that I've just cut up. Then I also have a medley from my freezer because I like to freeze much of my like produce and also any fruit or vegetables that I may have and put it in the freezer. So this is my green pepper and then also onion medley. I also got a little spinach here. I'm going to go ahead and cut that up and also ham. In addition to that, I need to fry my eggs. So I'll do that here in a few minutes. But I wanted to cut up all of my ingredients first so we can use them. Put this to the side real quick. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my spinach. And welcome, anybody. Happy Saturday. Happy All-Star Weekend. I believe it's happening in Houston, Texas. Shout out to Texas. In case you don't know, I was born and raised. Born and raised. I'm gonna take a little small handful. Um, when I'm, I found that when I'm baking spinach, it's not that bad. But when you put it on the top of the stove, it shrivels up like a fruit. You know, I'm gonna take a few of these little stems out. The stems, I'm sure, are good for you, but I'm gonna take them out. Take this out and toss it and throw it away. Okay, so now I have those things. Now let's go ahead and grab the meat. This is just some regular lunch meat is what some people call it. You can use any meat you want. You can use bacon if you like. You can make it meatless. You know, you can add more veggies. You know, I went with what I had in the refrigerator. And I know this is going to be too much. But... I am going to run to the store later and I may get some more so I can always use this for later because I wouldn't mind having another pizza probably tomorrow morning. I am that person that I can eat. Um, and I'm just going to lay this right over my table. But I sometimes can eat the same thing like a couple of days in a row. You know? Some people don't like that. Not everybody is. That's not their zhuzh. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to take a little flour and just kind of put it down on my surface. Okay, and then I'm just going to roll this out. It's already pretty thin, you know, but I think I just want to kind of put it all together and just kind of roll it out on its own. It's had a chance to kind of sit out for just a little bit, and I'm just putting my flour around it so it don't stick too much, okay? So that's it. Now I'm just going to roll this out with my rolling pin, kind of in a pizza shape, kind of in a circular, circular motion. I'm going to turn it around like this. Ooh, come on, Mike. Hold on. Hold on. Don't leave. Don't you go nowhere, baby. I'm just kind of turning it as I go. Just in case y'all don't know, I did work at Pizza Hut for y'all. Oh, mo most of high a good amount of high school? Because I can't say most of high school because... I didn't work there my freshman year at all. 
I think it was either some of my sophomore year, but definitely my junior, senior year. And then I came back home for a little while, maybe like a semester or two. One semester, actually. After, you know, when you go off to college, but you come home for like the Christmas break. Um, I came home for the Christmas break. All right. So I rolled out my dough here. Boom. Ta-da. Uh-huh. Okay. Love that. Love that. Just so you can see how I'm actually going to put everything on, I'm just going to probably eventually get just like a piece of foil paper. Now, if this was the full can, you could definitely use probably a lot, if not most of this. I'm not going to even use probably very much at all just because of that. I'm not... The round here, it's not quite as round. We're going to go with more of a square pizza, okay? It does not have to be perfect unless you want it to be. All I want this to be is really tasty. And I don't know why I had a taste for this, but I was like, let me cook something that I want to eat like right now. So I'm going to just put this on our pan and get it ready over here on the side. Okay, so now that I have that, it's time to whip up our eggs so that I can fry them. Then I can put them as well on my pizza for later. This is the pan I'm gonna fry it in. And then I need to grab my bowl. And I'm trying to determine how many eggs I need. I don't need much. So I'm gonna do two. I could also do an egg bowl if I wanted to, where you have like, you use your eggs as essentially like your bed of rice. Um, or you can also get you some potatoes and use like potatoes as like, you know what I'm saying? Like the hash potatoes, hash brown as your base. So I'm gonna do two eggs today. I'm just whipping these up. Oops. Put a little oil in my pan. Let it get hot over here on the side. A little oil in this one, but I need a little bit more than that. All right. Now we're cooking with fish grease. All right. So I'm going to put this on the stove. Let it get hot. As that is doing its thing, I'm now going to go ahead and add a little bit of pepper. I'm also going to grab a little bit of my salt here. Okay, mixing this up while my fire gets a little warm. Happy Saturday. If you are here with me, I just want to say thank you. I see I do got somebody um, joining me this morning. I appreciate that. I cannot see your name, but if you have something to say, drop it in the chat box when I get a little break here and I'm done with these eggs, honey. I got something to say to you. I got something to say to you. Okay. So while my eggs are actually getting ready, I'm going to put some of this stuff away. Like I have my ham here that needs to go back in the fridge. My green, my red pepper, which I think I'm actually just going to put it in a plastic bag for right now. Because I think that's going to work best if it will fit. Perfect, perfect. Put my spinach back. I don't want that to sit out for too long. If you also had some sliced cheese and that was all you had, you can use that too because remember you're baking it. And typically when you're baking something, um, it really does do a good job of just melting all together. So if what you got is a little bit of sliced cheese, try that out. I have to admit to you, I've never done sliced cheese on a pizza before. I've always done like shredded cheese, but I have had, of course, like, you know, the big blocks of cheese that you have to like shred yourself. And then you actually use it to put on your pizza. Now that, my darling, that I have done, okay? We get these eggs together. Can't have them up here for too long. Mixing up my eggs here. 
Maybe a little fluffy. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Come on now. Come on now. I may add a few of these green peppers and onions just because it's frozen. I wanted to have a little bit of to it, right? So the pan's still hot. That's the thing about eggs is, you know, eggs are still cooking even when you take them off the stove. So you got to be careful with that. Also, don't use this. Don't use metal for your pans. Use you some like, you know, one of these type of wooden spoons or something wooden, okay? I don't know what I'm thinking this morning, y'all. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so now that I have the eggs, let me get something clear so you can see through it. Now that I have my eggs, I'm going to put these to the side because they're going to go on my pizza. Now, remember, too, you got to bake this. So if your eggs still need a little bit more time, a little bit is what I said. More time to cook, that's okay. Because they can get it in the oven. Right. All right, so then the next thing is, let me grab my dough real fast. Move this. Y'all need to move that dough. Ooh, y'all need to move that. Okay, I'm done. But this is my little small, as you can see here. It's rounded-ish. It's really more square. Let me be real. Y'all see this. It's more square. Okay. So what I'm going to start off, I'm going to use my cheese. It's kind of like my little bed here at the bottom. If you have a little something breakfasty that you want to put, like maybe if you wanted to put, I don't know. I couldn't think of nothing breakfasty to put at the bottom. Maybe some picante sauce, you know, that's something that's not too bad. But I'm going to let the tomatoes, they're going to do its thing a little bit. So I'm going to put a few tomatoes on here. Of course, I got to grab the eggs and put them in there. Oh, that's hot, girl. Don't do that. Don't do that. That is hot. The block is hot. The block is hot. hot, hot. Okay, so now I'm putting my little eggs right here on top. Kind of spread it around a little bit. Because when I have pizza, y'all, I like to have a lot of toppings. Like, I love thin crust pizza with a lot of toppings. And you're talking to a girl who worked at Pizza Hut, okay? So we had the freedom when it was closed and it was just us there to sometimes experiment, okay? So I've done some experimenting before. To some people, that may not matter, but when you work at the restaurant and stuff and stuff, you be knowing. Shout out to the people who work in the food industry. So that was cheese that I put on there again. So if you haven't noticed, I layer it with cheese probably about three or four times. Note that this is an impromptu meal. This is not, yes, I've made breakfast pizza before, but I don't have like an official recipe for this. All right. So that's a little bit of my spinach that I put on top. And now I'm adding in some ham to go right here. Look at that. Look. Look, 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 Won't he do it? Won't, well, won't he do it? Won't he do it? And it already smelled good because I already made the eggs. The egg got, got the place smelling all good and stuff. Okay, add a few more eggs. Not too much. I can always eat these eggs on the side, right? Or you can get yourself a tortilla, baby, and then you can make yourself like a tortilla for your eggs. Don't judge me. Gonna add a little bit more of our cheese here. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. I've already preheated my oven, y'all, to 350 degrees. Okay. If you have some other toppings that you want to add, you are more than welcome to. You could put a little bit of butter around the edges if you like. It's gonna crust it up. But I feel like I think I got enough toppings. It, I don't have enough red, so I'm gonna put a little bit of some more of my red peppers. Here, if you have tomatoes and you want to put some tomatoes on there, you can. Tomatoes can be a little runny, so I didn't, I didn't add tomatoes this time. So we shall see. Since my cheese is really serving as my bond to hold everything together, so it's kind of taking place of the sauce as well. Then I am putting more cheese on top. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it in the oven for how long? Ten minutes. But I'm going to check on it because this is pretty thin and I don't want to overcook this, okay? One of the other good things, though, y'all, is that this is one of those things, recipes, that if you um, do have it and you may not, you may not cook it all the way or maybe the crust is not as crispy as you want it to be, that's fine because everything that's on top of it is already cooked, right? And you can also typically eat it raw. So you can eat this cheese without it being 
cooked and nothing else being done to it. You can eat this ham. You can eat the spinach. You can eat the red pepper, right? The green pepper, the onion. Like those are all things that don't have to be cooked. And the egg was already cooked as well. So with that being said, it, it's also one of those things if you already have a, a crust that you can eat like it is, you know, then you're good to go. Thank y'all again for joining me. Thank you for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Let me see what's going on over here in the chat box. If y'all have any questions, please feel free to say it. Let me know. I love questions. And also, I want to know, how do y'all make your um, breakfast pizzas? I'm very curious because I'm nosy. I need to know. How do y'all make your breakfast pizza? Do you make breakfast pizza? Um, although I didn't grow up making breakfast pizza at home, when I went to school as a kid, like in elementary, having pizza or breakfast was a thing. I didn't even know it was a thing until I started going to school. So we used to have breakfast pizza, and baby. We used to ask other friends, like, girl, if you're not going to eat your breakfast pizza, like, I'll eat your breakfast pizza. So breakfast pizza is like something that I have had in my life for a very long time. However, the reason is really because of going to school. So shout out to everybody who went to the cafeteria in their K through 12 life. You know, when I got in high school, I didn't go to the cafeteria as much. Like I think I started doing like maybe my senior year, I had like half a day where you could like work half the day and then you go to school half the day kind of thing. Something like that. I didn't set my timer. You may have noticed that. I noticed it. And I'm just kind of looking in here. Yes, yes, it's looking good. I'm going to change the shelf. Right now, I have it on the top. I'm going to put it at the bottom. I didn't even make myself any dish water. So I don't know about y'all, but I like to have some dish water in my sink so that when I'm cleaning up, I can just toss it and just put it in the water that's already ready. Plus, it just kind of allows my dishes to soak for a period of time, you know? Kind of soak a little bit. I don't know who um, is watching the game this weekend, but shout out to everybody who is. Shout out to everybody who watched the halftime performance last weekend. Of course, Sunday was the Super Bowl. Um, shout out to the winners. It was the Rams. Shout out to L.A. Um, Y'all know I watched for the actual halftime performance. So shout out to Mary J, Snoop Dogg, um, Dr. Dre. You know, when you start, when I really start thinking about how long Dr. Dre's been in the game, how long Mary J has been in the game, how long, like, Snoop Dogg has been in the game. And to know that this was like the first time that they like performed at, at like Super Bowl and then knowing how big of a deal hip hop and R&B has really been to music in the world. And yeah, I was so glad that they finally got the opportunity to do that. Special shout out to Mary J. Listen to her interview that she did with Angie Martinez. Y'all, listen to that interview. And Mary J has gone through so much. And she's so humble with it. She is so humble with it. Um, I don't know what I did with my dish towel. So I'm going to actually use one of these to wipe it off. I found one. Now I can actually use my dish towel. Okay, okay so I'm just going to wipe it. Happy Saturday if you are just now joining and tuning in. It is a beautiful Saturday here in Colorado. It's not as cold. It could be colder. Um, but it's a beautiful day. The sun is out. Did you know that Colorado has sunshine like at least typically about 300 days a year? Did you know that? You better know. And I have to admit to you, in general, you know, like warm weather is a big deal to me overall. However, I believe it's always just been the sunshine, you know, because when the sun is shining bright and beautiful, I don't know about nobody else, but it just makes me feel like it's going to be a good day. You know, even if it's a bad day, even if it's a lot is going on, I just, I feel better when the sun is shining. I feel better when the sun just shines. Okay, now that I kind of got this out of the way, 
I've done a little cleaning. I'm going to check on my little pizza here on the side. We are still doing our thing over here. So if you um, have not had an opportunity to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please be sure to do so. Um, just as I always do, once I'm done on here, I'll actually flip back over to um, Instagram um, and just kind of showcase to you the outcome and just kind of chat a little bit with my Instagram followers. Um, really, Instagram, I have to tell you, is one of the reasons why I took brought it actually to YouTube. Um, many of you loved the cooking that I had on my channel. And yes, you like the road trips, but I think you like the cooking even more because I get a lot of comments on that specifically. And so that's one of the reasons why I brought it to YouTube. And my goal is definitely to just continue to improve as I go. So I know I have technical difficulties, um, but I'm a um, one woman show. So I'm doing all of this um, by myself and I appreciate your patience. And as I grow, I will continue to learn more and also grow with y'all as well as you grow with me, okay? Now, as a reminder to y'all, if you don't know, I did not go to school to be a cook at all. I've just been cooking since I was nine with my mom in the kitchen. So many of the things that you see today is stuff that I've, I've just either always done, I have adapt, adopted as like a, a adult, but it's really stuff that I learned in childhood as a kid. My mom always thought that no matter what your gender was, that you need to make sure that you know how to cook. My uncles know how to cook. My mom knows how to cook. And my grandma, I think, instilled in them, like, it don't matter who you are, baby. You need to know how to cook for yourself just in case something happens. So in addition to that, I have to say this was a good time. It was like perfect timing for as a reminder to me, especially with the pandemic, because when the pandemic hit, I don't care how much money you was or was not making, the restaurants was not delivering like they usually do. And when I say deliver, I don't mean like Uber Eats deliver. I mean, like it wasn't tasting the same. It was off. It was just, it, mm, mm, it was not, it wasn't restaurant like it used to. Okay. So I know that that was a part of the pandemic's, you know, thing, but it just reminded me that girl, you know how to cook a steak at the house. You ain't got to worry about it. Um, so yeah, if you don't know how to cook, if you are afraid of being in the kitchen, try something simple like that already maybe has a recipe together. Try like a HelloFresh. Try one of those um, kind of places that have like all the ingredients like in one because I it's therapy for me. So I can't tell you that you should cook because it's going to be like underwhelming for you. It's going to be like a therapeutic moment and experience. I can't tell you that, but I can tell you that for me, it feels good to be able to come in the kitchen and cook my own food, but even more so to feel like I can look in my refrigerator, say to myself, okay, this needs to go. I need to eat this. I need to eat this and start coming up with something creatively of like what I can make together. So the pizza that y'all see today, that's exactly what I did. I did not plan this. I did not say, let me write down a recipe at all. It really was something that I just said, oh my goodness, like this dough is about to go bad. You need to make sure that you use it. What can you do? I already wanted to have a nice breakfast this morning anyway. So I said, oh, girl, you can make yourself a breakfast pizza. And so I just kind of went to that. And as you cook more, you'll realize that you feel the same way. And I got to say this too. I think we're doing good on the pizza. Let me make sure. I have to also say this as well, just because I think it's just important to say, um, don't be afraid to switch up recipes. You know, like sometimes, have you ever gotten a recipe from somebody and then you cook it and it does not taste the same? It does not taste the way that the recipe say it's supposed to taste. And it doesn't taste the way that the person that you got the food from originally cooked it, right? Just because I think we all cook different. We all kind of like our portions are different. But when you sit in the kitchen with that person and you watch them truly cook, that's when you can really know how they cook it. But it still may not taste the same. So I said that to say, don't be afraid to alternate a recipe. Don't be afraid to add a little brown sugar. Don't be afraid to um, trust your own taste buds to say, I need a little bit more salt. I need a little bit more pepper. One of the other things that I do to kind of test out my recipes is I share them with like my family, friends, neighbors. Now neighbors might be a little nice just because you're a sweetheart or, and you're giving them free food. But my family is very honest, like sometimes too honest. And I remember when I made the oatmeal cookie recipe. I took it to Texas and I shared it with my family. And my uncle was like, uh-uh, you need some more sugar in here. So I took that to heart and I actually added some more sugar. So if you're a kind of person you want to make your own at-home DIY sort of recipe book, I think it is a great time for you to 
you know, experiment with a few things like that. And don't be afraid to, to experiment in the kitchen, all right? I'm going to try to see if I can turn this little part off here on the side that has this stuff showing. It's like I can turn it off a little bit. Okay, I think I fixed it. Let's make sure that the, uh-oh, it's focusing me again. So let me fix that part too. All right. Um, I also have to tell y'all that while I won't be doing this today on this channel, um, I will be making, I'm going to be experimenting later on today with like my cake sickles. So um, cake sickles, I got some molds from one of the craft stores and I'm just going to pour in my little meltable chocolate, um, put in some cake in between, put the chocolate back on top, put it in the freezer, you let it freeze. I mean, there's a whole little process to it, but I'm going to be testing some of these out today. And if you see some of these baking chips, this is not, these are not the meltables or the, excuse me, chocolate that I'm going to use. I'm actually going to use these later on for some cookies, probably like maybe some white chocolate chip cookies or something like that. But I found these when I was looking for my meltables. So um, I need to do something with it. Whenever you find something at your house that you love, especially if it hasn't expired, let me check y'all. I'm up here playing. Okay, best of use by February 17th, 2023. Can you believe we're in 2022? Can y'all believe we're already in 2022? My Lord. This year is also my... I ain't gonna tell y'all that. You should probably know about how old I am and the fact that I was excited as hell about the um, Super Bowl last weekend. So, shout out to anybody going to Houston, though, for All-Star... Um, basketball is definitely a sport that I probably follow-ish a little bit more. Definitely the football. I don't follow really sports at all. The truth is, is I like the wives of the basketball players and the girlfriends and the mothers. Shout out to all of the mothers out there doing their thing. Shout out to Tina Knowles. She has um, her own show now. It's called Talks with Tina. All right. And I think our pizza is actually done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Turn off that oven. Get it together. Move my pan over here. Let me put this over here before I forget that I can eat that. Let's grab this out. Come on now. Come on now. Breakfast pizza. Let them know. Breakfast pizza. I don't know if this is good. I'm going to taste it though. Because I need to make sure that it's as good as what I used to have at school when I was a kid growing up. If you had good breakfast pizza in your cafeteria, you had some good cooks, baby. You had some good cooks in your cafeteria. Okay, let me cut this. Remember, I'm doing this while it's hot. I would not recommend you do it while it's hot, but I got to taste this in front of y'all. Plus, y'all, I'm hungry. And this is breakfast. So, I'm going to grab the little pizza cutter that I have. And I'm going to... I think I'm going to try to do square slices because, obviously... I cut it. No, I rolled it in kind of like a square. So I'm going to do it in more of a square. And then I guess I'll keep that there. Turn it around. Oops, it's hot. It's hot, girl. It's hot. Okay. And then one more here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now let's taste it, baby. See what it looks like first. See what it looks like right there on the, and then here at the top. I'm gonna blow it. I gotta blow it a lot because I don't want it. If you wanted to make your own homemade though, you could. Not for this one. I really did want to have that. I wanted to be safe with the dough. You know how you hungry and you ain't got time to play? I ain't had time to play today. Be trying to do no dough from scratch, you know, let it rise for two, three hours. No, no, no. What I had time for today 
was to use the dough that I already have with my croissant dough. I had half of it left. I used that and then some ingredients I had in my refrigerator, honey, and put it right here on the top, okay? If this is something that you typically do when you're in the kitchen, you improvise, you improv, you look at what you got and then you make it happen, being creative and stuff, let me know. Of course, um, as you know, this is my breakfast pizza. Thank y'all so much for being with me today. You can catch me every Saturday morning live. I try to go live between 7 and 8 a.m. And as long as I don't have any technical difficulties, I typically am good to go. Um, if te technical, technical difficulties is a thing, um, then just give me a couple of minutes and then I'll be on. Um, as a reminder, I am on mountain time. So keep that in mind. Shout out to the East Coast. I know y'all be watching me. Shout out to the Central. All my Texas peeps. I love y'all. Thank you, everybody, for being here with me. Be sure to subscribe to this video if you have not already. This has been Breakfast Pizza, and I'll catch you next Saturday morning live.